let's talk about systems of equations. Slope-intercept form can be written as y equals mx plus b, where m is my slope and b is my y-intercept. We use this to graph. We can think about slope as the rate of change, the most important word being rate. Rate is a comparison. Often it has to do with money and time. The y-intercept can be thought of as the starting point. Where do we start on the y-axis before we start moving for the rate? In this equation, y equals 3x plus 2, we can see that 2 is the starting point. So we graph at point 0, 2, or at 2 on the y-axis. We then move with our slope, which is 3. We create a rate by putting 3 over 1. We are going to move up 3 and to the right 1. We will repeat that a few times so that we can create our line. 3 is a positive slope, so we go up and to the right or down and to the left, both of which are a positive slope. You would go in a different direction if it was a negative slope. Here is the line for 3x plus 2. Remember, slope can be thought about as the rate of change and y-intercept as the starting point. Let's keep that in mind as we compare two companies. Uber versus Lyft. Which is the better choice? Well, we're going to break it down into slope and y-intercept by looking at the rate of change and starting point. Uber has a rate of 50 cents per mile. That is a comparison of cost to distance. Lyft has a rate of $1.50 per mile. Again, there is your comparison of cost to distance. Now let's talk about the starting point. The minute I order my Uber or Lyft, they charge me an amount. Uber charges $5 and Lyft charges two. Both are charged before I ever actually travel any miles. So now that we know the rate and the starting point, we can write the equations. Let's start with Uber. y equals, our slope is 50 cents per mile, so we write 50 cents, and we put times the letter x, because x is unknown. I don't know how many miles you're actually going to travel, but what I do know is you're going to be charged that $5 as soon as you order the Uber. As for Lyft, we know the rate is $1.50 per mile, so my slope is $1.50. I, again, Put the letter X because it's unknown in miles, and the Y-intercept is 2 because I will be charged $2 as soon as I order the lift. Now that I've written the equations, I can go ahead and graph. We're going to use the starting point. Looking at Uber, I know that Uber will charge me $5 the moment I order, so I have to start on the Y-axis at the number 5. From there, I move at a rate of 50 cents per mile. Up 50 cents over one mile. Up 50 cents over one mile. Once I have done enough of dots, I can create my line. And then I can begin to graph Lyft. Let's remember, Lyft is going to charge us $2 just to pick me up. So I'm going to graph on the y-axis at 2 and then move at a rate of 50 cents per mile. So I'm moving up $1.50 over 1, up $1.50 over 1. And again, I do a few dots until I can create a line. I'm going to graph the line and thicken it up a little bit so that we can see where the two lines intersect. Here is the point in which they intersect. 2, 6.5. But what do those numbers mean? Well, let's look at the axis. The x-axis represents the number of miles you travel, and the y-axis represents the total cost. So in this case, the intersection represents 2 miles will cost me $6.50 for either company. So which one would you choose? The answer might seem simple, but it's actually based on the distance that you travel. So what I would like you to do is have a discussion about which company you would choose based on the distance you would travel. That is systems of equations in real world.